I am Deanna Springer. And I'm Dana Casey with a fun Stitches Sisters sewing project and classic time-saving tips by Nancy Zeman. First, let's take a look at the project we're sewing today. We'll be making our cinching gift bags with a Chocolicious Fabric Collection by Canvas Studio for Benertex Fabrics. We'll be using Clover's Supersize 5-in-1 Sliding Gauge, Choco Liners, Clip and Glide Bodkin, Point to Point Turner, June Taylor's Quilter Starch Savvy, Schmetz Universal Needles Size 80, and our Bernina B770 sewing machine and Bernina L850 overlocker serger. Create our sew in a cinch gift bags with fun novelty fabrics for any holiday or occasion. We'll start making our sew in a cinch gift bags by preparing assorted chocolicious fabrics. And then we'll cut easy fabric rectangles. So, Head to the ironing board and spray starch and press your fabrics and get them ready for the cutting process. So we're cutting easy rectangles for our sew in a cinch gift bag. And we're mm -hmm. making the size small today. And it's a cinch, sew in a cinch, because we have ribbon ties that cinch the bag closed. You could even uh, tie this uh, into a little uh, bow if you'd like to. Mm. But it's made from just two fabrics and it looks completely lined because we have an accent band at the top and we'll show how we made that. We'll start by cutting those easy rectangles. So we're cutting two four by ten rectangles. Mm -hmm. Again, we're making the size small. Okay. So two four by ten rectangles and two ten by thirteen rectangles. And we'll start by sewing the two fabrics together. So in this sample, I'll set it over here. In this sample, we have the fabric already surged to the top. And we're using the serger today. Okay. This is a great project for surging. Or if you have a sewing machine, not a serger, just use quarter inch seam allowances and stitch that with a, with a straight stitch and then come back and zigzag that edge and finish that edge off. Okay. And we're pressing as we're going today. Mm -hmm. This is a super simple project with just simple rectangles of fabric. Okay. and simple quarter inch seams and press as you go. The next step would be to serge around all the outside edges. Okay. This is flat construction. We're making these bags flat construction. Mm -hmm. A classic time-saving tip by Nancy. Flat construction is the key to this bag. So we need to clean finish the edges, all four edges. So okay. either serge those or zigzag those. Hmm. We don't want those raveling when we present the gift inside right. the bag. So that'll just finish off the seams. Very so good. the next sample shows that we've surged all the way around all four edges. Mm -hmm. So now we have one rectangle. So this is the bag taking shape. And then we put the two fabrics right sides together and do a little pinning. You wanna line up those side seams where that accent strips meets the fabric. So you could put a pin here where that accent fabric Alrighty. meets that fabric. And then we need to do some marking. Using our Clover's 5-in-1 sliding gauge, we'll set that for six inches. And that just locks into place. So mm -hmm. slide and lock that into place. And then we'll be using our chalk liner. And just use your chalk liner and mark down six inches. What we're doing is marking a no-sew zone so we have an opening oh, for that okay. ribbon. Okay. So then we set it for six and three quarters and mark another six and three quarters below. So we've left a three quarter inch opening. Okay. That way we can get the bodkin through that. Mm -hmm. So we'll repeat that on this side. Six and three quarters and then six inches and mark. So that's a no-sew zone. I like to put a wonder clip there oh, so yes. that we're sure to not sew in that area. Mm -hmm. So here's a wonder clip and we'll mark that. And then we can pin the rest. Okay. I know when we get stitching, we tend to just keep going. And so having that there is a really right. good placement. Especially if we're using pins, if you put a pin there, that may not stop you. Mm -hmm. So we're just pinning all the way down. And that's our, our next step would be to sew that seam. Okay. But we're only sewing the side seam because we're using Nancy's wrapped corners. When we use Nancy's wrapped corners, we get nice crisp corners mm -hmm. when we turn the gift bag right side out. Okay. So the next step would be to head to the sewing machine and stitch that. So we'll stitch all the way down along both edges. Mm -hmm. Just on the edges, not the bottom yet. Alrighty. 
and you can see the stitching. We've stitched and we've skipped mm -hmm. that area where the no sew zone is, where that wonder clip was. Okay. So you can see our quarter inch seams and the next step would be to press it open. And we like to head to the ironing board and use a seam stick. Mm -hmm. So we just insert that seam stick into that opening and press. It's kind of in the round, it's a tube. Okay. So if you pressed it flat, you could get some creases where you don't sure. want them. So insert that seam stick and press those seams open. So once we have those seams pressed open, then we wrap, we wrap our corners. We mm -hmm. head back to the sewing machine and we sew the lower seam. We wrap the corners towards the center of the project and then stitch that lower seam. It's starting to take shape. It our, is. our gift bag is coming together. The next step would be to turn down the top accent strip. Okay. And that's that four inch strip that we cut. We just fold that under. And you'd press this. Press this under so it's nice and flat. Mm -hmm. And then we use that five and one sliding gauge again. We set it for three and a quarter inches. Okay. And we mark a line. And we're just folding where that seam mm -hmm. is where it meets the body of the fabric. So I've marked three and a quarter and then I slide it to two and a quarter and I mark another line. Okay. So here we're marking and that leaves a one inch opening. Mm -hmm. That is for the ribbon cinch. Okay. That's our channel for the ribbon cinch. So we do that on both sides. Mark three and a quarter and mm -hmm. two and a quarter from the top fold. And then you have a stitching line. Mm -hmm. So head to the sewing machine and convert your machine to the free arm position. Okay. Because this is in the round, we need to sew a tube. Add a open toe presser foot. That's really nice so you can stitch See right along stitching. that stitching mm -hmm. line. And then engage your dual feet if you have it because we're using multiple layers here. Okay. And you just stitch. You stitch in the round around the entire top of the bag, two stitching lines, and that's it. Wow. Next we turn the bag right side out. And we'll use our Clover's point to point turner for this to push out those corners. Mm -hmm. And because we've done Nancy's wrap corners, these points just pop right out and they're nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. So you just push those out with the point to point turner. It's a great tool for doing that. And they just naturally want to turn just right side out. Sure. But we need a cinch. We do. We need a cinch. And you can see that no sew zone we left open mm -hmm. right here. There's an opening. Magically, we've done the math for you. If you're using that four inch band, that's where measuring down six inches and six and three quarters okay. will give you the opening for that ribbon. So we need to insert ribbon. And for this size small bag, it's a 10 by 13 bag, we use a 30 inch a uh, strip of ribbon. Okay. But we need two because mm -hmm. it's cinching. So you just insert that. Insert that into that opening. And this is kind of unique. How do we make it cinch? Well, if we went in one side and came out the other side, it wouldn't cinch. Okay. So we go all the way around the bag with this first ribbon. And that clip and glide bodkin is really nice because it has that thumb grip. Mm -hmm. I can grasp onto that and continue going around to the other side. Okay. We're going in the same side that we come out. So insert that all the way around the bag and it stays nice and flat. Mm -hmm. And that clip and glide bodkin has a nice grip to it. It kind of has like a hippopotamus right. <laughs> uh, jaw and it grips, grips right onto that ribbon. So that's it. We insert that 30 inch strip of ribbon through one side and come out the same side. Okay. And then we want to insert a second 30 inch strip of ribbon mm -hmm. for the other side. And it just grips on really well. It does. And we'll be tying a knot here. Okay. So it doesn't matter if those teeth left a little marking mm -hmm. because that's where we'll tie our knot. And if you don't tie this, you could pull it right back out. Sure. So we tie a knot on each side and then we do the same thing we'd insert that ribbon all the way through. And that's how we have a cinching bat. Oh, that's neat. So if you have a gift that you'd like to give, say we have our flat note cards. Mm -hmm. We just have our set of Nancy Zeman uh, landscape 
greeting cards. Beautiful. A set of there fits in nicely. But what if you have a larger, deeper, thicker gift? Right. Say you were giving your sister a fat quarter pack. She'd like that. For Christmas. Or for a birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, you would want to make a gusset. So this has a little bit of gusset because there's depth to it. Sure. So you can use, make flat gift bags just like this. Mm -hmm. And if there's an occasion for a gift that has a wide width to it, sure. just add a gusset. And you can add the gusset after the bags are completely made. Okay. I'll we'll show that to you. So if my sister gifted me a bag that wasn't gusseted, I could make it into a gusset. It would, you <laughs> could. And any bag, you're right. Mm -hmm. Any fabric bag you can do that with. Um, and this is how you do it. It's flat at this moment, but all you need to do is stack the lower seam with the side seam. And we've done gussets before mm -hmm. on Stitch It Sisters, and they're so easy to do. Just make sure you stack that seam. And it's stacked, that lower seam and that uh, bottom seam and the side seam are stacked and lined up. And then you do a little marking again. So you get your five and one sliding gauge. And I happen to know that it's two and a half inches wide. Okay. And there are quarter inch markings on it. So I just slide it up and I'm aligning the center of the guide to the center seam. Mm -hmm. And then I just mark. I mark across that top. And I know it's two inches because I'm aligning the quarter inch markings on the edges okay. with that. And you just have a stitching line. So you stitch on that line and create that gusset. Okay. And when you turn that right sides out, you have a bag with depth. Okay. And we'll bring that back. So here's the original flat construction corner. And then here's one with a little depth gusset. So that's how we created two different size bags. One like would be great for a flat gift mm -hmm. and one with optional gussets for a gift with depth. Very nice. And these are so fun to make and they're so fast to make. And there's just a, something special about giving a handmade gift in a gift bag that you made yourself. And the best part is that they're reusable mm -hmm. and you can make them in many different sizes. Mm -hmm. In many different colors. Right. For any occasion. Mm -hmm. We hope you've enjoyed the Stitch It Sisters project. You'll find this pattern along with a limited number of bundle boxes at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitch It Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitched Sisters is made possible by Bernina, Clover, Benertex Fabrics, June Taylor, OESD Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design, and ShopNZP.com. Bernina, made to create.